Hello, hello, hello. So here we are, another screening at uh, Dwizzis, Dwizzis Cinema Room, 4K TV. Yeah. Um, so first things first, I brought a film around. It's my choice of film um, today. And I know you like your martial arts. Did you Did you know that? I did, yeah, because oh. I can remember you saying, um, oh, I... A couple of couple of uh, films ago, we were talking about something off camera, and you said something about martial arts, and we were talking about something. I know what it was. It was when we watched The Matrix. That's how long ago oh. it was. And you made a comment then about the guys that had done the choreography and all that sort of stuff. Oh, right. and, and it registered in my head. So I did think I'd have to choose a, a martial arts film for oh, you. Okay. And yeah. once again, I wanted to try and choose one that I thought... Well, I, I, I was hoping you hadn't seen this one. Mm. So I chose, for everybody out there, I chose one called Chocolate. Uh, not to be confused with the, the other film called Chocolat, which is a French drama. Nothing of the sort. Yeah, so. explain, explain the film, because I've never heard of it before. So basically, um, Chocolate centres around a young girl who, it's not specifically said but we are led to believe has uh, like an autism or something along those sort of lines. And um, yeah. her, her mum uh, used to be in a gang and uh, it's a bit like a Romeo Juliet story where she falls in love with a, a rival gang's fellow and between them uh, she gets pregnant with this, this girl who becomes the, uh, the lead in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, spends her, she spends her childhood watching and soaking up uh, martial art films oh, yeah. and is very good at copying and emulating things with the, the way her brain works and stuff because that's how you learn martial arts it's you watch exactly, movies it's, it's, exactly. it's how I learnt it <laughs> <laughs> anyway um, <laughs> anyway um, her mum gets uh, well long story short her mum gets um, out, uh, driven out of the gang and they split up and, and uh, she goes well, to live with her daughter set up? Uh, so it's an Asian film. Um, it wasn't in Japan because that's where he went. So Is it the Philippines? I think so, yeah. It might have been, might have been Bangkok. Might have been, yeah. Um, so that's the other thing that's going on. The mum the and... Because Japanese men, honour-wise, aren't really supposed to be with women outside of their... Out, yeah, if they're not married and, or outside their gangs, I suppose. Yeah, outside like of that. their, their culture. So because she got pregnant, yeah. she, decided, she decided to leave him, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. Without him knowing at the time she had a child. Yeah. Um, she yeah. gets poorly, they need to pay yeah. her medical bills. Yeah. And without the mum knowing, her and her friend Moom, who's wicked, uh, decide to go and collect the mum's debts. Mm. And then you get to see a 13 year old girl kicking the living shit out of everybody that comes near her yeah. in a spectacular fashion. Yeah. So, Dwiz. <laughs> there's, there's a good synopsis for everybody there, if you've never seen it or heard of it. You've never seen it, have you? I've never heard of it. That was quite a delight to hear that, actually. I've not seen that again for a, a number of years, which is why I wanted to watch it again as well, to see, yeah. see, how, see how it's aged, maybe, and so forth. Right. What did you think, then? I know you'll always be honest, so... Well, um, yeah, okay. So, I wasn't in love with it, but um, I did get a lot from the actual martial arts sequences. Uh <clears throat> The story was a bit different in that most martial arts films are about someone who's been chucked out of a dojo or, you know, he's going to a tournament. Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas the story in this was, was a bit more interesting than that, but I still, I still didn't think on paper it, it was a great story. Mm -hmm. But the whole thing was tied together Obviously, I don't, I don't know who, the, who this young actress was, whether she's well known in the martial arts world or whatever, or she was picked up because she had this prodigious talent. But once it actually got to the martial arts fighting thing, it was incredibly impressive. Yeah, for someone of that age as well. And when you watch it too, um, at first you think they must be speeding this up. No, they were. But it becomes apparent that no, they're not. <laughs> This is all shot in real time, and they've not sped it up at all. You can tell. You can tell when they sped it up. There's a certain mm -hmm. like look called over cranking. Um, Choreography. That's was just well. The most impressive thing is you think like like she's a thirteen year old girl. You know what what can she do? And then the very first fight, you're like, 
oh my god every single part of that looked like it really really hurt yeah the sound uh the sound design for the fighting sequences was rock on the sound design was brilliant uh selling everything wasn't it yeah selling all the punches all the kicks it's the 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 um intricacies of the choreography is like so you, so you got like, oh, that, oh, that's a flush spinning move or whatever. But the, the intricacies in this were just how close the punches and kicks were to the to the person who was receiving them. Yeah, it was tight. So, yeah, tight. So it really looked painful. Yeah. They really did react in the way you'd expect to react. I, um, I liked the fact that, I mean, having seen that a couple of times now, I like the fact that when you first think, well, she's only 13, so she's not going to be strong. She might know Kung Fu Cry, she might be really strong, right? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and fair enough, they, you've got to you know, the, the pinch the salt with a lot of the stuff she's doing. But when I watched that again just now, what I noticed was was that whoever choreographed her, her moves mm. was making her use lots of elbows, lots of knees, lots yeah. of shins. Mm. And also there was a lot of her big uh, punches or kicks were coming from a double turn as well so it's like she's putting her whole body in an extra spin in to get power and stuff i mean there's one bit isn't there where she i mean i can remember the first time i watched it loved all the fighting and everything and, and everything was fantastic i was really but the bit that made me go whoa the most is when she does the flying knee and, <laughs> and punches that girl into the drain pipe with a flying knee wow bam it's like what the actual <laughs> that's mad yeah. So so you've got you've got her. Well, well, part part of the reason you believe that she's hurting is because of the leverage as well. So like, yeah. like you know, some like if you see Bruce Lee and stuff, he's got the one inch punch or the quick flick. She she doesn't do any of that. Like you say, she will literally spin round the whole of her body so that it's the four. It's like the speed, momentum, isn't it? And the, the momentum, momentum and the speed that you can yeah. tell would would really hurt. So yeah. so you, you yeah. do believe you it, do yeah. think that, and she's yeah. not like boxing because obviously yeah she's. she's she, yeah, like you say, she she'll she'll like do a spin, elbow, yeah, hit my knee, yeah, but, and her kicks so, and then it's so fast, yeah. So, when she did double kicks, bam, bam, and they really were that sort of speed, yeah, really, really. And the fast. Edi- the editing, like, I've got to give a shout out to the editing as well because um, you always knew exactly what was going on. the The editing wasn't really around trying to cover up for any deficiencies in her. It it was more just to explain how how she was moving. Th- you know, and, moving uh, around the fight. Yeah, moving around her environment yeah. and stuff, and then then when when she was delivering the blows and stuff, it wasn't confusing. Um, it wasn't cut fast, 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 so you couldn't tell what was going on. They stayed on her. Yeah. And and a lot of the stuff was was a beautiful little well a medium I suppose you wouldn't say wide, but it was a, a lovely medium shot, wasn't it? Where yeah. you got the full body, and they're not cutting away. You're just seeing the sequence. I love that. Oh, it's great. It's really, really good. Really yeah. well done. Do you think um, <laughs> do you think it's fair to say insurance rules over there <laughs> are slightly different to how um, a thirteen year old girl would be allowed to do oh stuff? Yeah, because I was looking, I was like, that that is it's her. I was purposely looking to see if they'd like you know cut to another shot where it's a body double, but it wasn't, and they they showed a face in all the shots. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably why I liked it so much, actually, because when I saw it, I was so used to seeing, um, I'm so used to seeing, like, most of the martial arts stuff that I've liked being men, uh, yeah. being adult men. Mm. So seeing um, a vulnerable person yeah. and, and not knowing what she can do and then that moment when you find out and you're literally like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I also really like the environments they choose to fight in, you know. So there's like uh oh, yeah. those the ice factory. Ice factory. Uh a meat, meat locker. Yeah, a meat the, locker the, the thing. Um And they really really used like yeah. the the environment to it's a bit like Jackie Chan in that Very, sense. very Jackie. Well there's a little bit of everything was going yeah, on. Yeah, there, there was a bit of everything. Which makes yeah. sense, doesn't it? Because like she picked up her skills from watching different martial artists. Yeah, yeah. So there was very much it was very much Bruce Lee and her kicks, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean the first sequence they even shouted out the fact that, you know, because she was doing oh, all that, that was, that style. Was <laughs> so good. Yeah. And she even heard the noise as well. <laughs> 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 um 
Yeah, so like it, there's, there's bits of Jackie Chan in there, bits of Tony Jar. That was all the elbow stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that was all Tony Jar stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, the double knee, that was all Tony Jar. Was it? Yeah, Jackie Chan with all the mo- with all the stuff where she's moving around things, pushing yeah. the chairs out. That was all Jack. So it's a real lovely little mm. mixture of stuff going on in there. There was, um, there was, yeah. Because it would have been very easy for it. Oh, it's just another fight sequence, really. It never felt like that because it, it, there was different elements in, in each one, wasn't there? I um I will I will admit the acting I didn't think was partic- when they weren't fighting the acting was I wasn't particularly strong from some of the people in there but I wasn't there for the full on that no and once the fights once the fighting started I was just sold on the yeah on the fights I mean it, you know as, as a piece of film it it, it doesn't really um, do anything strong outside of its premise which is which is some really kick-ass martial arts yeah. sequences. You want to watch a highbrow film with really good acting and you're not going to you're not going to see that watching No, you chocolate. can go and watch uh, Hidden Dragon or whatever it's called. Hidden, it's Hidden Dragon Didn't Didn't Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Hidden Dragon, I can't find it. Crouching Tiger. Crouching Tiger, yeah, <laughs> Hidden Dragon. And we've seen females fight before. Yeah, know, just like uh, Michelle Yeoh just... and yeah. Zing Zhang or whatever her name is. Yeah, Michelle uh, Yeoh. She, she was under... 16 I think when she mm. did that film well like, she probably wasn't actually mm. but uh, yeah really good and there was some um, interesting uh, ideas so in one fight she met her uh, doppelganger yeah the, that's right yeah the guy the doppelganger guy who had like a tick didn't he like uh, a tick and at first he, he starts to kick her ass a little bit doesn't he and then mm. she does the thing where she watches all his moves and Soaks it up a bit and takes it and and emulates him to. Try yeah, and she's got like some kind of bullet stuff. time vision going on because of her like you know if if you if you're not using all your senses properly the other senses make Heightened. up for them don't they yeah, yeah. And she can do that thing where she can dodge flies and stuff can't she? yeah she hear, so, her hearing's really in tune yeah so hearing. she suddenly can see all these like jittering mm. and, and things and breaks it down. Uh, <clears throat> I've got to say, the stunt work is some of the best I've ever seen. Oh, that's nice to hear. I mean, there are people like falling down 30 foot and landing on their back and stuff. All in one shot. Yeah, the building stuff was pretty impressive, wasn't it? It was insane. I mean, I know um, watching, I said at the end, we, we need to watch some of the outtakes now because they were getting hurt. It wasn't all peaches and cream, was it? They were. I mean, she was getting hurt more than anybody else. This young girl kicked in the eye and hurt in shins and but some of those guys that were falling on I mean I, I, know, I know they were on <laughs> here's the thing right they're, they're on harnesses which mm. they obviously got rid of in post but it didn't look like the harnesses were doing anything because they were literally just falling bam 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 full speed yeah and there was nothing and then they cut and then the medics were all just rushing <laughs> Right, who's got a broken neck? Who's bust a neck? Who's done this? Who's done that? I'm not really yeah. sure what the harness is for. They might have been for like maybe, maybe like if something went wrong and they tripped and fell off, or, or somebody you know, on the other end would. They could tell like yeah. that even though they were supposed to fall off, they'd fallen off at the wrong angle or something. So yeah. they could, you know, they're going to land on the head. Because yeah. you're right, like they, the wire work didn't actually seem to lessen the impact of them hitting the floor. And you or... couldn't tell they were wet. It wasn't like um, going referencing Crouching Tiger where they do the wire, the, uh, obviously called it's the... Uh, yeah, the wire work. The wire work, yeah. But there's... there's what's the oh, it's that? waifu. Waifu, yeah. There, there's no waifu in it. Waifu. So when That's we say... Like, waifu is like a, <laughs> when you see a, um, a computer-generated character and you think you'd like to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> That's wife. That's wife foo. That's what you were saying. <laughs> Wire food. Wire food. Yeah. It's, there's no apparent wires attached when you watch the fighting on that building. They're not doing no. it. They're not doing it so it's like a fantasy-based um, action sequence. It's all done as though it's, it's real. Um, and they just take the wires and the safety precautions out. But I don't even know why. I mean, some of the falls that those guys were taking, were, they looked absolutely bloody brutal. Oh God! And they were yeah, somewhere like hitting things on the way down as bam, well. Bam, bam, and no, it's but like, even whoa. though so that this sequence we're talking about, there's a bit towards the end of the film where where they're on balconies and stuff. But like, like more towards the beginning of the film, that there'd, there'd be like you can imagine like a, a skate park of like little levels and stuff. And there were people like being kicked over and falling on their back onto a bollard. Yeah. 
Yeah. In one shot. Bam. Without it being slow motion or anything. And they didn't have wires attached. Up. And there was no, could, didn't, there was no, they were solid. I just, those were solid as well because they ran on them. They actually yeah. ran over them. Mm. Fast as well. Bam, 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 bam. And then fighting and bam. And it's like, or, or falling over between things like concrete things and their heads are missing by about that much well one didn't did he as we saw at the end it's like <laughs> he split his head open oh it, yeah it's nuts it's quite remarkable to look at um, the skills are unbelievable the yeah. dedication to to that film making process yeah you've got to say it because you wouldn't get you wouldn't get that in Hollywood if Hollywood remade that they never will but if they well, they wouldn't be able to, but if they ever be made that, it would be it would be completely different because a they wouldn't have permission from anybody to get a young actress actor you should say actor now, Gav. Sorry, slap on the wrist, but they wouldn't get permission to have a young actor doing those things. No, it just wouldn't happen. No. Uh, they would do what what you said they you you were looking out for. They'd get an older person that that would maybe small in body, and then you just wouldn't see her face. Yeah, not this time, not on that. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk let's talk martial arts films then um because i'm interested because i haven't had an in-depth chat with you about martial arts stuff uh, and i only say i only garnered this from a comment or two that you made once right. when you were around at my house i don't want i don't want to oversell my input um i'm not i'm not an expert i, I did go through a phase where I, I was really into it all but, you know, I've, got, I've been distracted for long enough now where I've pretty much forgotten everything I know oh, about bless you. martial arts stuff. It, it was a long time ago. But who, um, who, what was, can you remember the first martial arts film that you watched, though, that made you think, oh, I like this? Um, I used to be into things like 36 Chambers. Oh, really? Um, but those proper old school. Yeah. Hong Kong. Shaw Brothers. Yeah, Shaw Brothers. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and you know, life's life's an odd journey. You, you, you go down different avenues. I discovered different things, and and it would be interesting to go back and watch some of those now. You know, I think it probably yeah, literally has been twenty years since I've watched stuff like that. I, yeah, I, 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 it's the martial art. I like martial arts films, but I'm the same really. I haven't been watching them very often lately. I've been too caught up in lots of other things mm. instead because they don't. You don't see martial art films being made no. anymore. No. Um, so for me as a kid, uh, yeah, de- well, for me as a kid, definitely growing up as sort of like the first time I had my own TV and a video player in my own bedroom, I would say I was renting films like Enter the Dragon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. discovering Bruce Lee for the first time was always fun. Yeah. Um, and then moving on from... Bruce Lee, I would say probably Jackie Chan was then the next, you know, police story and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, um, I, I think th- the thing with Mark. Sorry, I mean to cut you off. No, 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 it's but fine. A lot of the thing with martial arts movies is the stories and and they tend to be quite lacking, you know. And yeah. if if you do get distracted by other art forms within within media, it's hard to go back unless you unless you're in the right mindset. You know, I'd love to go back in the right mindset and re re check out some of those old school martial arts movies. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I like the Matrix so much, as well as all the sci fi and the and the fact that the fact that you've got all that all the martial arts stuff happening in the Matrix, mm. but it's also backed up with an absolutely cracking story. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's an interesting thought, actually. Imagine how how could you make something like the old, you know, the old school martial arts movies and, and make them have a, an an impact on modern audience now? Mm. How would how would you do it? I don't know. I mean, the closest um, the closest I think they've gotten in re- recent years of doing something like that is with the with the boys from the matrix who did the choreography and all that sort of stuff because then they got involved didn't they with keanu reeves in the john wick films um right. they, they're probably they're probably the, the latest bunch of films that i could relate to that maybe you know have been working on the story as well as the action too because mm. uh, those films are full of action it's non-stop oh yeah, yeah. but there is a story behind it all well the, ongoing the appeal of like the old old school martial arts movies was all, all it was all honor honor based wasn't it pretty much yeah um, um yeah big big boss big boss was probably the f- in fact big boss i think was the first 
first one I watched of um, uh, uh, Bruce Lee mm. uh, before I even saw got to see Enter the Dragon actually. Yeah. Is that the uh, one with that Abdul Kareem Jabbar? <laughs> oh, the <laughs> basketball player. Yeah. The oh no, no, that's oh, um, yeah. oh no, that's game. That's the one film that he never got to finish because he died during the oh, making of it. Oh, is that the one he didn't finish? Yeah, and he's because uh, it was released, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, they oh yeah they they released it by putting extra bits and bobs in there, didn't they? Game yeah. of Death, basically. Oh yeah, Game of Death. Death. That's it. Yeah, um, yeah. Which is homaged brilliantly by Quentin Tarantino in Kill Bill, of course. Yeah. Because she wears his Game of Death. Yellow yeah. Outfit. So that's that's funny. I was going to mention that at some point, and it was also a possibility for one of our movies of like Kill Bills. I absolutely adore Kill Bill. Do you like it as well? I love it. Oh, it's amazing. I love Kill. But if we watch Kill Bill, you, we've got to watch it as a double bill. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that means taking that four hours. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> uh, Kill Bill is an awesome, awesome film. It is. I'm glad you like yeah, it. Yeah. Great, it's, great story of it's revenge. Not, it's not one of the most, you know, it's not one of the more, more popular Tarantino movies. Oh, no, it's one of my favourites. It, Pulp Fiction. Oh, gosh. I know we're going off tangent here, but Kill, Kill Bill, I probably like more than Pulp Fiction. I think and that's saying something because I love Pulp Fiction. Uh, I think I've seen Pulp Fictions enough times that I might choose Kill Bill. If I had to go to Desert Island and only have one of them, I think I'd choose Kill, Kill Bill. Bill. Just because it's so beautiful to look yeah, at. Yeah, it's lovely shot, beautifully shot, and the action scene, and the fighting in that is... There's a little bit of Kill, Kill Bill vibe in Chocolate, although Chocolate was done first, obviously. Yeah, there was, definitely, I feel that. Definitely. Yeah, when they were in, in the, the dojo. Uh, in, yeah, that's right, when they in the dojo and all the guys come out. Yeah, um, and, stuff and like remember that. on Kill Bill, you've got that girl in, the, in school uniform. It's got oh, the chains. That's almost like, the, you know, the little lad with the Adidas tracksuit on. It's yeah. Like the, you could possibly see the yeah the re- reversed re- reversed engineer the influence <laughs> that Kill Bill yeah. took from the original Tarantino's seen that film and thought I'm going to put a little bit of that in <laughs> <laughs> and why not how old's that chocolate then um I think chocolate is about 12 years mm. 12 13 years old now yeah. it's actually quite sad because her mum dies at the end spoilers <laughs> well you know you're going to get a yeah it's not a happy end well it's not really a happy ending is it at the end no. of the day um, well, it's not at all. There's nothing happening. With that. There's a there's a message in there somewhere, mm. uh, like like the metaphor of the guy shooting himself in the foot. You know, I, yeah. <laughs> so nobody died in it until about two thirds of the way through, and I thought, well, yeah, I suppose you can't have a thirteen year old girl running around murdering everyone. <laughs> but then, as soon as they decided they were going to kill people, about thirty people all got That's shot it. within like ten minutes. I know. <laughs> I don't know, it's like when he first started so watching it. the guns out, that's it. If you don't know what's, I mean, I didn't tell you what the certificate was. Did you see what it is as you're putting it in? Yeah. So when you actually first start watching it, you think, well, it's, this is going to be a 12, isn't it? Or something like that because of her age and blah, blah. And then the, then the mum gets her big toe sliced off and, you know, mm. and things start happening and make you think, hang on a minute, <laughs> this ain't a 12. Uh, it's actually an 18, that is, you oh, know. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I guess, yeah, don't try this at home, I suppose, is the thing, isn't it, really? Not that I ever would. I'm surprised that's an 18, actually. Yeah, it's if 18. That, if that was released in the West, I reckon that would be a... 15. 15. 15. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure, when I'm looking at it, when it pulled out, I'm sure I looked at it before I ever handed it over, and I, I, I was surprised because it said 18 on it, mm. you know? It must I, be. I, it, it must be of her age. Yeah, it must be just... It's because she's 13, and, it, and yet she's doing all this kidding and maiming and... And stuff, you know. Uh, some c- c- kind of kind of funny little moments in there as well, though. Yeah, even like I was on about like yeah, no one's dying in this. Like say when they're in the meat market and they, <laughs> and they, he get he gets it in his shoulder, don't he? But he then throws a, it at her. She ducks. It hits the wire oh, hit, fence. Spins back. <laughs> bed and then there's another bit later on where the, there's a hatchet and he she deflects it or something and it goes straight at him and you think <laughs> and I thought oh it is it is gonna. There is going to be someone dead, but it hits him like flat on. <laughs> what about the bit where the guy gets pushed on? There's a guy who gets pushed onto a nail. Oh my god! I'm just going to puke. <laughs> <laughs> and the best bit is when he the sound effect when he pulls himself off it. Oh, the sound effect is gross, isn't it? You were talking about the sound design, weren't you? And how you like the sound. I did notice it. The music's awful. Oh, yeah, the music was terrible, wasn't it? Yeah, Yeah, very... 
real heavy, way too heavy, uh, loud and heavy for what we were watching. I can't even think what genre it's called. Oh, it's no, not, it was just, wasn't heavy metal, wasn't rock, it was just, it was just thump, thump, it was just too much. Or yeah. is that just us getting older is? No, 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 it wasn't good, it wasn't good. No. But um, yeah, the sound design was, was fantastic, yeah, all, all the little effects, the, when the kicks were hitting in and like, you know, like you say, little squishes. <laughs> And uh, to say it's subtitled as well, um, not something we would normally talk about. It's our first, hey, it's our first subtitled film that we watched actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they didn't some 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 films when there's subtitles. I find myself rushing to try and read it before it goes off screen. But they were big. They were, they were on screen plenty of time for you to catch what was going on. You didn't feel rushed, did you, watching them? Um, and they didn't really detract because. Again, you know, once the action started, mm. there was nothing to watch but the action, was there? I mean, there, were, there wasn't that much dialogue anyway, really, was there? I was, gonna say, I was thinking just before, I forget talking about merging, like, different genres together, you know, di- different martial arts, like, genres. And then the bit we were just talking about with all the gore, that's almost like a genre itself. You know, you, you, know, you get, like, little slapstick horror, horror movies and stuff. Uh, yeah, Italian. Cause, cause, yeah, because throughout mm. that whole bit, me and you were going, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was only in that bit, wasn't it? Was yeah. like, there's the one bit. There's one bit where you haven't seen an awful lot of blood or anything, and then they're in the dojo having the big fight, and then right at the end, he gets his sword and he flicks it on this guy, and you just see this blood go <laughs> like that. And you think, oh yeah, okay, <laughs> we're there. <laughs> and funny. and she and him get embedded on a katana, don't they? <laughs> the, the, the two of them, which is pulled out. So. Yeah, no holds barred when it came when it comes to that, to that sort of thing. No. Um, didn't see any heads getting chopped off. No, uh, probably a good thing. I should think. <laughs> um, so so okay. So would you recommend that to anybody? Not really. Um, I think um, if you wanted to see some really impressive stunts and uh, choreography, it's worth a watch. Um, the the story the story is a bit of a no no the soundtrack's a bit of a no no, but um yeah gosh the soundtrack really was awful yeah yeah you you know when I say I wouldn't recommend it I mean I, I don't it's it's for a very specific niche audience that would appreciate what what, oh, it, yeah, what sure. it's offering so, yeah so if you knew if I, someone like martial arts yeah if I, if yeah. I'd, I'd recommend it for someone that was into that specific type of yeah, thing. Yeah, I wouldn't have bought this uh, round at all if I didn't think you liked martial arts. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Uh, it was a bit of a gamble. This this was a, this is my biggest gamble today. Right, right. I even had to say to Claire, uh, who is his better half, in the kitchen before when you were upstairs earlier, I said that, has Driz seen this? He, does he, he does like martial arts, doesn't he? I'm not just, and even Claire went, I think so. I don't know. He's not really said it. So I was like, oh God, I hope so. Otherwise, this is going to be full flat on its face. You're right. Yeah, so yeah. I'm yeah. so glad you do. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't pick it as like, yeah, if you had a mate's night where you're all watching movies, you wouldn't take the chance, would you? So. No, it was a bit of a wild, yeah, it's a wild card, that one. Saying that, I'm glad. I'm glad I've seen it though. I'm glad. I'm glad I watched yeah. it. I mean, if it was like that and the martial arts wasn't particularly good, then obviously. Oh. Yeah. But it, but it was it did what it set out to do and, and uh, yeah I will it will have imi- there are images that are burning to my brain now <laughs> people pretty much breaking their backs in real time so she so. smashing the window glass over people's heads and then back kicking them in the throat before then throwing them off a building about thirty feet up in the air wow yeah just nuts well listen I thoroughly enjoyed watching that with you my friend thank um, you for, thank you for introducing me to it yeah I've, I've done well so far i've not picked the film yet that you have seen already have i it's funny you pick this film and we're around at mine so next time at yours i'm going to choose you're picking yeah 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 your pick and that's mine so basically then um thanks everybody once again for giving us some support um if you haven't seen chocolate and you like martial arts give it a check out yeah um and don't The moral of the story, don't piss any 13-year-old girls off because you don't know what's going to happen. You might get kicked in the head.